Hey, welcome back to the channel. So one of the most common questions I'm asked from people on my email list and in my audience is how do I achieve true passive income? How do I get money without having to work too hard for it? And I want to address that in this video and why chasing passive income is most likely keeping you poor and keeping you broke. Now, unfortunately, at least from my experience and what I've seen is that this question comes up a lot from people who don't have a lot of money and who are barely scraping by and they're dreaming of this life where they don't have to work and they have just money coming in every day, week and month without having to do much of anything. And I get it, everyone wants that where you don't have to work too much and you still have money coming in, never have to worry about that. But having this mindset and just being in the constant pursuit of passive income without doing the other things that I'm talking about in this video is going to keep you poor, is gonna keep you broke. So that's what I wanna cover in this video is the truth about passive income, why chasing it is keeping you broke and what to do instead. So before we get started, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Doing that helps me out and it also shows it to other people who can benefit from this content as well. And with that said, let's jump to the video right now. So first, what is passive income? It's income that takes little to no effort to earn and maintain. It's, it's money that pretty much comes in without doing any work on your part. Now, some examples of this, some common examples are uh, real estate income or rental property income, dividend stocks that pay you dividends every month or quarter or year, um, cryptocurrency if you're staking that, or even things like digital product sales if you sell your own digital product that has no coaching component to it. Now, the problem with true passive income is in order to achieve it, you need active income to fund those passive income sources. And active income is, is basically income that you work for, right? You're nine to five, maybe you're freelancing or delivering a service or you're running a business. Those are all your, your active income sources. Now, if you're one of those people who maybe has like a thousand or even like $10,000 and you are investing it into these cryptos that are risky, that might take off and get lucky, or you're, you're buying all these courses that promise you to get rich quick and easy by pressing a button and living that lap stop or passive income lifestyle, you're always gonna be chasing passive income and never achieving it, and you're always gonna be broke and never having the money that you want. And the reason is you're always gonna be chasing passive income instead of building up the income and the cash flow and the assets needed to achieve real passive income. And like I said in the beginning of the video, it's very sad to see because a lot of the people who are asking about passive income and how do they get it are usually people who are unhappy and they're desperate and they're not making a lot of money. So let's just use an example here. Uh, I invest a lot in dividend stocks and let's say I wanna make six figures per year passively from dividends on the stocks I invest in. Now, across all the stocks I invest in, I get about a 3% on average dividend rate. I don't know if that's like the average for all the stocks combined, but mine is about a 3%. Now, if I wanted to make $100,000 per year off of dividend income, passive income, I need about $3.35 million invested to get $100,000, right? 3% of 3.35 million is a little over 100K per year. So I would need $3.35 million invested into the stock market, into dividend stocks, at a 3% passive income or dividend rate to get 100K plus per year. So I'm sure you can see, I don't just have $3.35 million just sitting around that I can pop into dividend stocks and start making 100K per year from. I'm working up to that using my active income sources. So here's what to do instead of just chasing passive income. First, accept that it takes a lot of time and money to achieve true passive income. In order to invest in these things like stocks and dividends and real estate and rental properties and crypto and all these other passive income sources, it takes active income, it takes money to invest in these things. And once you accept that fact that it takes a lot of time and a lot of money to get going to achieve true passive income, you'll be able to focus more on building up your active income so that you can invest into passive income sources. So you'll be less focused on chasing that get rich quick and get rich easy and more focused on just making money, simply making money so you can invest. And then once you start to have income and cash flow flowing into your, your bank account and your life, then you can take a piece of that and invest a little bit into passive income sources every, every day, every week, every month, every year. So that's exactly what I do. My active income comes from consulting and coaching and delivering services and digital products. I take about 30% of what I make from that every month and I invest it into things like dividend stocks and crypto. And now uh, at the end of this year, I'm actually gonna be inv investing in rental properties as well in real estate, which is another source of passive income. But without my active income, without the coaching and consulting and delivering services and creating and selling digital products, I would not have the money to invest in passive income sources. 
So I hope that helps you shift your, your mindset a bit, your beliefs a bit. If you are stuck on this passive income, one track mind, I hope you understand now that chasing passive income actually keeps you poor and actually keeps you broke because you're taking the focus away from what actually matters, which is building up your active income first so that you can invest into passive income. And if you stay super consistent over a long period of time and you take a percentage of everything that you're making with your active income and you put it into passive income sources and you do this year after year after year, eventually you'll be able to live 100% off your passive income sources. Until then though, keep taking action, keep growing your active income and keep taking a percentage of that investing in your, your passive income sources and maybe one day you can live 100% off of that. So I hope you guys found this video valuable and useful. Give it a like if you did. And also, if you wanna learn more about using email marketing and digital products to increase your active income, go to emailraymaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free group where I share more content around that. And that is it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.